specifically is situated in the heart of the KwaZulu Natal on the property of Highgate Wine Estate. It has plenty of lifestyle destination shops, more than five eating places and plenty activity for both the young and old. So let's go and have a look at what tickles my fancy today. Our family moved here when I was three months old and with my twin brothers that are older than me and originally this was a vegetable farm. The first day we moved here there was actually a massive hailstorm and my parents lost everything that was on the farm so it was quite an insane entrance to the farming world but Rudy saw that there was a lot of trade on this road going past our house here on the R103 and he thought it was a really good job opportunity or an opportunity to start selling his vegetables and originally it was just those trailers that you put your boats on almost and we'd put crates on there and I used to take a really big calculator with me and my dog and my little play dog and we'd sit there and we'd sell our vegetables and when the farm store was going people would come and they would say yo you know it would be so nice if we could have some coffee while we shopped and I really listened when people asked and that's where the idea of the coffee shop was born when we first started it was really small scale so Cindy who's my mother she would take people's orders make the toasted sandwiches and Rudy because he was still managing the farm Cindy would call him on the two-way radio and say Rudy we have a cappuccino order and he would come on his quad bike and he would come and make the cappuccino and then he would leave again and carry on doing the farm work actually all of this really wasn't part of the original plan it grew as people were asking us and asking us for more so there's a lot of shops on the Midlands and people saw that we had the space here and we had the trade and the traffic. So all of the shops that are at the centre are shops from the Midlands Meander that have come together to work together and create a bigger force. It's so much more than meets the eye. Often when I think about just what I am doing and to think that Rudy and Cindy did that all by themselves, honestly blows my mind because I don't know how they accomplished it. because. My plate is so full, Tom's plate is full, Nick's plate is full, and they just did it by themselves. So this is the pantry, and one thing you must know about South African people is that we love fresh produce. We thrive on locally sourced products. So everything that you find here at the pantry is fresh. It is made locally, and it's sourced locally. Everywhere I go, I see this thunder bomb. I don't know. Maybe I need to buy this. It's obviously a very popular product. So this is so cute because they have little cakes, cheesecakes and carrot cakes just small enough for a person so I don't have to overeat. So we're done for the pantry. Thank you. Okay, so this is chocolate heaven and it is exactly what the name says. It's a bit of chocolate heaven. Everywhere you turn is just chocolate chocolate and more chocolate and there's so many different things that you can have here but all you have to do is come here and you choose the chocolates you want and then you enjoy them so I'm about to indulge thank you now this And this is called Hides of Africa. And if you know Africa, the one thing we do love, handbags, handbags. Now this is chic. So 
Friends of Africa is a family-run business and everything that you see here, all the products are locally sourced from Africa or South Africa, which is great because it's contributing to South African skill and development. Wow, this feels incredible. So we have one of these at home and my son loves it. The Midlands Piada has everything for everyone and we do not forget the kids. At candle dipping, you can bring the little ones over and dip some candles. And it's very simple though. All you have to do is choose a candle and there's a vast array of candles right here. There's dinosaurs, there's candles for uh, girls and boys, young and old. All right, so it's time for me to choose a candle for myself and I'm gonna go with this one because I'm short and this looks so tall. And then go into the water. And then into the water. This is so fun. I'm going to camp this way so I don't mess everyone. How artistic am I? <laughs> 